hello, hello, everybody. It's your buddy, Jay Rasek, here with another episode of the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo. And here we are in the lead jungle. Yeah, I said lead before I was saying lied, but apparently it was brought up to my attention that regardless how many times I've been to the zoo, I've always said it incorrectly. It's actually lead jungle, not lied. Um... So, with that being said, uh, it is the lead jungle, um, but I still, I, I don't know, the lead jungle just sounds a little better in my opinion. But uh, here we are finally creating our very first habitat um, in the lead or lead jungle. And, uh, you know, from my experience at the, at the Omaha Zoo, with this particular exhibit, it, it they kind of change it up every year, um, or, or you know they kind of move some animals around and stuff like that. And, and the Omaha Zoo, I noticed, are very notorious. A lot of zoos are, uh, which is perfectly fine. It kind of mixes things up a bit. Uh, so with this exhibit, uh, we have otters, and uh, and there should be an actual. Uh, well, there should be some Siamese uh, white-handed gibbons in here. But unfortunately, we don't have gibbons in the game. So we're going to be using a few different mods here. Um, one of the mods that, I, that I'm waiting for is a uh, small clawed Asian otter. Um, if I remember correctly, the Omaha Zoo has like two or three different species of otter. Um, I know they have the... Uh, the Asian small clod, um, and I believe they have uh, the Amazon giant otter, and of course the North American otter. Um, I know the North American otters are were outside for the longest time, um, and were later moved into the into the light jungle, or not the light jungle. Um, I, actually, I don't know what they did with them to be honest. I guess we're going to find out this weekend when we go there. <laughs> I'm really excited to go to the Omaha Zoo again. It's been about a year and a half uh, since I've been there, so I'm really pumped and, and stoked to get there. Uh, but I know the uh, Asian small clod otter and uh, the giant otter are in the lead jungle. Or lead jungle. Uh, however, we don't have uh, an Asian small clod otter mod yet, so we're going to be using Nicholas Lion Rider's uh, North American otter uh, in this uh, exhibit. Uh, the other, uh, right about the same time uh, that I started this exhibit, uh, Leaf came out with his howler monkey, which, you know, is pretty uh, close to a given, um, somewhat. Um, okay, not really. It's not. But you know what? I really love the mod, and I'm like, you know what? Why not? We're going to go ahead and put it in. So this is actually supposed to be the uh, Asian tropical uh, section of the of the lead jungle. However, you know, with the limited animals that I got, I'm just kind of throwing them in here a little bit um, for right now till those other mods come about. So the nice thing about this exhibit, as you can see, I'm, I'm creating a waterfall. Like, almost every single exhibit has a waterfall um, or some sort of trickling water coming from the walls or the ceiling. Um, and it just really gives it a, a very immense, uh, immerseful um, experience. Uh, like you're actually in a real tropical jung jungle. And that's what I love about it. Um, so... You know, you're going to be seeing a lot of waterfalls here and a lot of rock work here to make that happen. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not the best with rock work. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm trying um, and and not so much. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, I definitely will probably be doing some changes uh, after the recording of this video, especially after we get back from the Omaha Zoo. Um, I'll be doing uh, some changes, obviously, because while I want this to be as accurate as possible that I can do within this game. So with that being said, um, there are obviously going to be some changes to the main game file after I go ahead and, and visit the zoo. So 
Um, I know I did promise last week I was going to try and do two videos. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So this one's going to be a little bit longer. Um, hopefully not too overly long. So I hope you're able to stick to the very end and kind of see um, how this uh, habitat develops and so forth. Um, so far, right now, I've been doing using a lot of the mods for this for this build. Um, uh, one of them was the chain link fence. Um, there's also uh, the um, oh the uh, another scenery uh, the netting the mesh netting one. Um, I really like the look of the mesh netting. I actually put that into the uh, kingdom United Kingdom or, or the Wild Kingdom pavilion um, in the center portion to replace the the trill uh, imitation netting that I had in there um, so I went ahead and put that in there and it looks really really good um, the downside with that mesh netting though is the hitbox on it is just ridiculous it's ridiculously small it's very hard to find so once you put it up it's hard to move around um, but other than that I think it's pretty decent um, here I am uh, now at this part. Uh, what's really nice is after the otter exhibit and so forth, there's kind of like this tunnel that you go through, kind of like a, a tropical tray uh, cave, and has a bunch of different species. Um, they used to have a jaguar in there, um, and I think at one point they did change it to a coyote, um, and then uh, removed it, and they put it in a jaguardi. Um, last time I was there, they had that there, or maybe they had an ocelot there. It was a small cat. I remember that much. Maybe just a small jungle cat. Um, so, you know, we're going to put that in there. They also had a blood python and some other animals, uh, smaller animal exhibits that were really cool um, that I think are, that I wish were in the game. Um, and speaking of the animals that are, are not in the game, that are, are coming into the game, thanks to our modders, um, I mean, you're, you're going to see some guinea fowls. Uh, and eventually, I want to make it somehow to have the green iguanas just kind of running around throughout the entire light, uh, light jungle itself. Um, so I'm going to try and configure that out. Um, it'll probably be, they'll probably run around along the jungle trail area. Um, in between the exhibits and stuff like that along with some guinea fowl um, so I'm kind of anxious to see how that's gonna work out if I can make it work um, the other thing about when you first walk into the building is like right off to the left before you even hit this otter exhibit that I'm working on there is uh, a couple birds uh, there's I believe a uh, red heart dove I believe it is called um, and uh, some sort of uh, Indian uh, pheasant of some sort I, I want to say it was a golden pheasant or silver pheasant but um, I think it would be really cool if we could somehow get those into the game um, in all reality it probably the peacock rig would probably be the best way to do it um, unfortunately the peacock is a zero content uh, gaming file um, which if anyone follows the uh, mod discord like I have been uh, you'll notice that a lot of mod creators do not like using the zero content because there is just so much hashing and eliminating different files that are just really hard to inject into the game uh, without deleting them and it takes I guess forever and a day so Unfortunately, um, until another small bird comes about, um, we may just kind of be stuck where we're at. Um, another option we could do is maybe use uh, Leaf's Guinea Fowl um, mod and uh, maybe create uh, some pheasant mods or or some off of that uh, model base. So I suppose you could use the cassowary uh, rig. Um, that could be a possibility there. So here I'm, I'm trying to recreate that first exhibit that when you first walk in on the left hand side you'll see the a small bird cage um, right there um, and and if I remember correctly uh, I think want to say there's two exhibits like I mentioned earlier um, so 
what I did since I don't have um, a, a pheasant mod or um, a bleeding dove or bleeding heart dove or red heart dove bond or mod um, I'm going to go ahead and and probably just do the guinea fowl uh, mod in there and uh, put that in place um, here you can see I'm kind of playing around with two different exhibits at the same time almost three because uh, they kind of intertwine with each other in a sense um, along the path uh, you come around one side and you see the the gibbon and the otters on the right uh, you see uh, the the couple tropical birds on the left um, and then a nice canopy view um, across the um, entire uh, pretty much the entire building uh, you can see all the way to the far side practically um, if it wasn't for all the trees of course uh, so with that being said um, you know I uh, went ahead and um, started putting in those details there um, for that those three exhibits and started mapping them out a little bit uh, one thing that um, I learned during this build which was the first time I've ever got around playing with it is uh, was not only the uh, mesh screen mod but the climbing um, techniques because uh, like I said we use the howler monkeys um, since uh, they kind of somewhat resemble gibbons but not quite the gibbons don't have the tails if I remember correctly but with that all being said, you know, that's the closest thing I really have besides maybe the bonobos. Um, and I, I just, I just, I don't know why I didn't, I just didn't want to do the bonobos. Um, in fact, I never even heard of a bonobo before this game, to be honest. Like, I, like they were saying, oh, bonobos. I'm like, what, what the heck is a bonobo? <laughs> like, I was playing the tutorial. I'm like, what is a bonobo? Um. I'm in a primate thing. I thought it was like some sort of antelope or something like that uh, when I was first watching that, or first playing the game. So, shows you how much I know about animals all the time. Um, but yeah, some other uh, mods that I want to definitely get in here. I, I, I mean, I just realized that we don't have a lot of Indonesian animals, at least smaller animals, like smaller Indonesian primates besides Priscus monkey. Um, so, you know, I think it may come down to where I may end up possibly learning how to mod myself and kind of create some of these animals. Um, I don't think I really have the know-how or the patience for the coding side. However, um, I like to think of myself as a very... Um, a very prominent uh, artist uh, between sculpting and real life. I do a lot of silicone sculpting for Halloween and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so I, I kind of would feel that I, I am fairly uh, artistic. Uh, so digital sculpting may be a whole new, atm a whole new uh, thing for me, but I think I could possibly do it. Uh, I just really need to get the know-how on on how blender or cobra tools or how that all works out um so i've been doing a lot of research i'm watching lion rider and leaf and uh even leaf actually has mentioned to me he's like jay when are you going to do some modding i'm like i don't know i thought about it but i don't know <laughs> um so yeah you know i will have to say though I, I am very amazed on how well a lot of the modders have done um, with all the work they've been doing. It's really great. So, yeah, here we are again. You know, like I said, I'm jumping back and forth between a lot of different exhibits. I'm trying to use a lot of the main uh, plants uh, from India, tropical India. Um, because of the fact that this area itself is India, is, is the trop tropics of India, um, or of Asia, excuse me. Um, so, there's a lot of different things going on here that I've, I've been trying 
uh, to try and recreate the this part part of the zoo of the of the lead jungle as much as possible. Um, and you know you're gonna see a lot of things getting removed and added, removed again and added back in. So uh, when I finally got done with it, um, you know I found some YouTube videos uh, to kind of refresh my memory of. Uh, the of the lead jungle and sure enough uh, one thing I noticed that is the the barrier between along the paths for the guests are all glass um, so here I am creating a glass barrier um, epically failing um, quite a bit a few times here but once I figured out how I wanted to get it in there uh, and how to look I, you know it looks fairly presentable um, and then, you know, I just kept on replicating throughout the, the whole path area. The other thing that um, I had some issues with was the rope bridge. Um, off to the left of the, of the Asian uh, tropical cave area, I guess, or I guess they call it like the nocturnal area. So uh, there's a kind of a rope bridge on the left side of the cave that kind of goes in between the the uh, along the wall right by the waterfall over there and you'll be seeing that a little bit that took some time to really figure out and finally um, what I decided to do was actually just take a bunch of the, the eight meter vines um, and just kind of duplicate it over and over again to kind of give it an uh, overgrowth look um, as well as um, giving it uh, a little bit of uh, the uh, bamboo to kind of give it that that ancient or that old jungle look. Um, it isn't 100% accurate to what it is in real life, but it's a good uh, implication. Um, I guess you could call it. It's a good way of. Uh, it made it, the, it implied very nicely um, that it was. What it's supposed to be and uh, i think that's uh probably in a few cuts down the road here um that you'll see um one thing that i did notice here um uh, with the mods and everything is like um the it was unique because um when i added the screen and everything and i select the otter the the um North American Otter, it actually pulled up the giant otter's picture, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, um, you know, that's not the correct picture for these animals. However, it still worked. Now, as for the guinea fowl and the howler monkeys, it didn't. Um, I think maybe it had something to do with the fact that the animal that I selected to do, uh, such as the river otter, um, since it since the main uh, rig is based off the the uh, giant otter, I think it automatically implement that. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe Leaf does some uh, insert packages and so forth, or asset transfers and whatnot. So when he does those mods, such as his guinea fowl or his howler monkeys. Um, it just doesn't really show up there, um, which is fine because what I did is I took a couple pictures uh, of the animals and kind of created my own boards, which you'll see a little later. Um, here, you know, I tried to make a multi-level habitat for the guinea fowl, um, which you'll probably see in the next video here, but we la I later disregarded all that because uh, I wanted a guinea fowl to go up and down. Uh, both levels, uh, which the, I created a ramp and, extent, and made the exhibit a little bigger. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, this uh, build, for the most part, um, for this video anyways. Uh, I probably won't have a video out next week, um, just because I haven't had a lot of uh, game play in, uh, recently. Um, and I'm still working almost 12 to 8 anywhere between 12 to 18 hours a day so it's been kind of difficult to get some content out to you guys and i really do apologize but i thank you all for for hanging in there and and you know uh going ahead and uh and 
definitely still watching the videos and so forth. Um, uh, one thing I definitely want to say is uh, there's uh, apparently on Discord, I got called out, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, there is a, a Discord uh, by the name of uh, oh, the JPOG Squad for Jurassic Park uh, Operation Genesis. Um, and uh, he created a channel for me on Discord, uh, which was kind of cool. Um, he tagged me in it, and uh, sure enough, uh, if I can find it here, yeah, he called me out, uh, put me on his Discord, say, uh, he's like, hey, at JRassic, here you can post your Planet Zoo speed builds. There's quite a few of us who love your speed builds and Planet Zoo. And I'm like, perfect. Um, so... Yeah, that's going to be uh, kind of cool that uh, some people are actually liking uh, my speed bu builds and whatnot. So I think it's pretty cool that that's uh, happening. Um, you know, it's not a huge, uh, huge uh, um, Discord. There's only about 65 members. But you know what? It's all good. You got to start small somewhere, right? <laughs> so, I mean, heck, I only have, uh, geez, I think I'm up to... 29 subscribers now so want to thank all those 29 people for subscribing and watching the videos um it's awesome to see that uh you guys are are liking the content and so forth like that so um but yeah i guess you know one thing that i would like to ask um kind of shifting gears back to in the modding industry if i was to start modding what would be an animal that you guys would like to see um i don't know I haven't really quite decided on what animal. I probably would base a lot of animals from from the Omaha Zoo. Um, I would really like to get into the scenery area um, to create different trees and stuff like that. Uh, and also probably uh, get into um, maybe the smaller exhibit animals would probably be my, my personal choice. Um, oh, here. Uh, back to the build though. Shifting gears again. Uh, I use a trick that I learned from Drew and also Palsley uh, about the upside down elephant grass. So that's how I'm able to do that to create instead of uh, to create that null barrier and so forth, um, so they don't escape. I've actually had one guinea fowl escape during the test, only one. And and funny because I was building along and everything. And next thing I know, I had over. 80 some babies of guinea fowl in here they just blew up it's crazy um and i it's just like okay yeah we're gonna neuter a couple of them um and i sold as many as i could off and in fact there's a bunch of them in my uh uh in my storage unit uh basically waiting for me i, I gotta put them somewhere i'll probably have them running around the zoo and so forth like that or inside this jungle uh but yeah i thought that was kind of um crazy on the way that it built so far the other thing that i learned that i discovered that i like doing is making trees using these this fox uh the fake uh roots and uh tree limbs and, and so forth that was kind of enjoyable um i later found out these are climbable i did not know that um i thought like certain things were climbable or I, I didn't know that, that there was only certain things that were climbable and this thank god is one of them after i created the climbing structure i couldn't get the howler monkeys to climb at all um i was like racking my brain out well, like why are these guys not climbing they're monkeys <laughs> um later i found out is because you got to give them a reason to climb um so like food incentives uh um enrichments items sleeping area stuff like that and keep it above elevated and they'll definitely climb and once i did that the howler monkeys they climb like no other they um eliminated uh created a less lands area for them uh to transverse in and uh, gave them uh, more areas to kind of do their have an enrichment areas on different little islands so um the otter and gibbon slash howler monkey area is not going to be exactly the way it is in real life but at least it has the monkeys climbing and that was my primary objective so um geez 
I have so many things just running through my mind right now of because I'm honestly so excited about going to the Omaha Zoo here in less than two days that I, I just I just don't know what to talk about next here. Um, as you can tell, I'm just jumping around. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, uh, on another note, uh, we can't forget, we got to do something special here come uh, May 25th. Uh, I got something planned pretty special because uh, it just so happens that it is a major contributor's birthday um, within the modding community and the Planet Zoo community. Uh, and uh, I want to do something a little special for him. Um, you know, he doesn't know me personally besides maybe seeing my name a few times in his streams and uh, whatnot. And, uh, but, you know, Nicholas Lionrider, we got a little something special for you coming up right around the corner. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and as always, build, play, and enjoy. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this video? It would really mean a lot to me if you smash that like button to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon for future video contents and notifications of uploads. Also, Leave a comment below on what you like about this video and what you'd like to see in the series. You can follow me on Steam, Twitch, and Discord. Till next time, build, play, and enjoy.